This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Monday, May 3rd or 4th, I think, 2021. And today I wanted to talk about prices going up, shortages, people not going back to work. And I've noticed the last couple weeks, well, the last two months, prices going up a little bit here and there. You know, the gas is going up, milk's going up, bread's going up. But a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, things are going to go up, and it's not that big of a deal. Well, a couple things that we bought went up 30 or 40 cents. A couple things went up 3 and $4. And if you're not expecting that, if you buy the same things every month and you're paying $150 and now it's 200 or you're paying two, three hundred dollars and it's three fifty, three eighty, four hundred. It's it's a big deal. Uh, a couple places are having shortages of milk. And remember, during the beginning of this pandemic, they had problems with milk and uh, chickens and beef. They were slaughtering cows. They were pouring milk. I don't know if it's true, but I heard from somebody else that they're doing that again. They're having problems shipping, transporting, trucking the milk places to the processing plant or whatever. So they're dumping milk again. I haven't noticed that down here. They have plenty of milk here, but I've noticed the one place we went uh, like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, they had no milk, no eggs, and they said there was a rush. People panic buying and they haven't gotten their shipment in i haven't been back to that store in a while but a couple places uh, a lot of things we get have gone up and yesterday we went to bj's and the bill was like a hundred dollars more than we thought it was than we thought it should have been and i asked the guy some stuff he wanted on the belt and he's scanning it putting it in a cart the other stuff it was big he just said leave it in a cart and he scanned it with the, the gun. And I swore he scanned things. He went like in a circle and, and started over again. And I said, I think you scanned that already. He's like, oh, no, I didn't. And I said, I think you scanned that already. Oh, no, I didn't. He's like, the computer, you know, the thing I'll tell you. And I asked him when we went to pay. I said, did that come up twice? Nope. We paid. We walk out, look at the receipt. Two or three things, he scanned double. And it was the most expensive things in a cart. So, we had to, to go up to customer service. They had to put it back on our card. And it's not going back on. They said that they'll do it instant. But your bank might take 7 to 14 days. We called the bank and they said, no, we would put it on there that day. It's BJ's. Expect 7 to 14 days. So, be careful when people are scanning your stuff. Make sure you're not paying for double triple whatever and if you can pay cash if they mess up they'll give you the cash if you pay on a card it could be a while before the time you get your money um, people not going back to work I've seen this people getting the stimulus checks getting extensions on unemployment and they're not going back to work businesses are hiring people back as they don't want to come back so a lot of these businesses are going to close now on top of that to me if you're offered your job back and you refuse to go back because of unemployment, well, you should be kicked off of unemployment because your job is asking you back. That's me. That's the way it works. That's the way it used to always work. So, things are going to get worse and people are making it that way. They don't want to work. They want to sit home and do whatever they want to do. And chlorine shortages. That's going to be a problem this summer. They said one place burnt down or something, or some factory. And they said because of the pandemic, more people were staying home and using more chlorine for their pools. Well, I, didn't, I thought it was a lockdown. You couldn't have people over to go swimming and have swimming parties. And you couldn't have a 4th of July party. And So people were opening their pools and people were losing their jobs, losing houses. But I'm going to spend money on my pool. Do people believe all this bullshit? There's a shortage of chicken now there's you know chicken nuggets and I, I just can't believe some of the bullshit they're saying and some of my friends that i thought were so smart hated trump and i hate both of them i don't like either one of them i think it's all bullshit 
but they showed a picture of Trump and his family, and this is not a presidential American family. And they showed a picture of Biden and his dog and his kids, and this is the American family, and this, this is what the president should look like. Yeah, well, how's it look now? <laughs> the man can't talk, he stumbles, he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. This country is going to shit since he's got in here. And you mean to say this black Biden isn't cognitively delinquent? Have a listen to this, the President of the United States of America. We have to do more than just build back better. We, build back, we have to build back better. With regard to Russia, I know it concerns some of you, but I made very clear to Putin that we're not going to seek ex 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 excuse me, escalation. Putting Biden in this position of leading the world's democracies is elder abuse. His incoherence is not new, but it surely can't go on. There will have to be a presidential resignation shortly. Listen to this from only a couple of weeks ago. The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no, no longer mo mark our national mourning. God help me. And then this. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. This is the leader of the free world. How can we believe any self-respecting world leader will take this bloke seriously? Can you imagine what it's like talking to him live? One wag had it right with a meme that was posted on social media that says it all. Hey, Sleepy Joe, I think it'd be less confusing if you just turn the teleprompter around and let us read it for ourselves. Look, it's easy to laugh. This is very, very serious. For example, today, the plight of migrants, the burden they have placed on US resources, which Trump was addressing, not a word. Not a word. But Biden waxed lyrical about the virtue of raising taxes. All these left-wing clots in the Democratic Party don't understand that if you raise taxes on corporations, then those corporations will move offshore and take American jobs with them. All this before we get to the wider issues of foreign policy. As the Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said this week of Biden, and I quote, he's been a disaster on foreign policy. The border is in chaos. The Iranians are off the map. He's opening up negotiations with the Iranian regime and they haven't done a damn thing to change. Afghanistan's going to fall apart. Russia and China are already pushing him around, unquote. Well, someone of significant note is going to have to tap this bloke on the shoulder and tell him he's got to go. Uh, beside the point, it doesn't matter. People are not paying attention to what's going on. Just because something's going up a little bit, oh, well, you know, cigarettes went up 15 cents. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Shit happens. Well, it isn't 15 cents. It's a dollar. It's two dollars. Now they want to get rid of menthol cigarettes. You know, that's why I smoke. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, outlaw them. This way I won't smoke them. It's bad for me, but I still smoke. Get rid of them. I won't be smoking. Same thing with alcohol. Get rid of alcohol. Oh, uh, the stupidity in some of this stuff just drives me nuts. And Walmart, the minimum wage is going to go up to $15 an hour. If you have a business, you need to pay $15 an hour to these people. And some people are going to have to lay people off because they can't afford it. But Walmart, uh, evidently they're saying they're making too much money. They, they have competition with Amazon and Target. And they need to put their money into that to, to get bigger. They're already too big for what they are, and they sell garbage. They treat their employee, employees like shit, and when you work there, they put you on all these different government funding programs because they won't pay you. But it looks like everybody has to pay this minimum wage except Walmart. They say it's not right because, well, one, they need the money. They can't afford to give it to you. And it's not right just to give somebody a big raise like that. You need to work your way up to that. Well, that's the way it is with every company and every business. 
but Walmart is not held to the rest of the country. What, what does that tell you? Don't shop Walmart. They're not good for America at all. They employ most of the empl most people because they put everybody else out of business. So that's what's left. And now more and more businesses are going to close, and Walmart's going to pick that up. The, the post office will go out of business, and it'll be Walmart. You'll have to go there. Everything soon will be at World Mart. Oh, I mean Walmart. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me know if you notice prices going up or shortages and what it is and does it vary by store. Um, that's what I got for this one. This is Pony Prepper Bill and I'll talk to you in the next video.